everyone, I'm glad you're back for this video series on why Baptists, what are the distinctives of being a Baptist. In this video, we're still working through the acrostic, and now we're on the fifth point, which is the I in Baptist, and that stands for individual soul liberty, or individual soul competency, and soul here is S-O-U-L, if you couldn't tell from my accent. Individual soul liberty, that's coming up next. All right, what in the world is individual soul liberty or soul competency? Now, in a previous video, I talked about if you had to define Baptist with one word, it would likely be the word freedom. We're all about it. We love being free. We like the idea of being able to respond to God according to Scripture and according to the direction of the Holy Spirit in our lives. And so being a Baptist is this idea of being free before God. So individual soul liberty means as an individual, ultimately and finally, I do not answer to a pastor or a church. I answer before God. Of course, Paul even explains this. In Romans 14, he explains that our conscience is ultimately obligated to God. So whether one believer feels like they can eat meat, which is what Paul's talking about, or, or whether they feel like that's a problem, they ultimately have to respond to God and in brotherly love. But for Paul, he opens up the door to say the individual's conscience is bound according to the way God is working in that person's life. And so what's really interesting about individual soul competency is that Baptists resist or should resist any notion of implanting commands or rules or strictures that are not explicitly biblical on other believers. Ultimately, those believers must answer before God and respond to God as individuals because God has given them a conscience and a mind and a soul to respond appropriately to God for themselves. So that's individual soul liberty. It gives Baptists tremendous freedom. It allows us to work together without judging each other, and it really is an attempt to realize the teaching of Romans 14. I hope you'll join us for an upcoming video as we continue to talk about the distinctives of Baptist.